hi guys welcome back to my channel today is the seventh day of socially distancing my husband and i are socially distancing ourselves because of everything going on he's here for two weeks which i'm really happy about um i don't like the circumstances that is causing him to have to be here but i've always said i want my husband to be home more because as you all know, my husband works so much that I barely ever see him. He works six days a week. He has a long commute to get to and from work. And it's just, you know, it's it's hard for me. I really love him. We got married three years ago. And ever since that we got married, his job picked up big time. So enjoying that newlywed feeling and everything has been I've enjoyed being with him, but it's been very little. Like, I never, he actually picked up and vlogged a little himself, which I was really, you know, taken aback that he did that on his own. That was really cool. And I'm so proud of him for just really like jumping into this. With that being said, you're going to see a few more videos on here where he's on the channel with me. Uh, obviously not today because today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be organizing and I um, know that everyone's stuck at home not everyone and I do feel for those who are still having to work in a job I haven't been going for the past few days anywhere because I'm like I don't want to be putting anyone else in danger of what's going on so I stopped going out to eat regardless I'm gonna to go to the grocery store early on a Sunday morning because I feel like that's the the best way to go and be not around people and I'm gonna get me and him a few more groceries to last us and we're staying at home we're not going anywhere we're not even going to eat out or anything like we did before because I don't want to be putting the workers at risk or anything you know because um, I think that we honestly, I feel like to continue not to spread that. I know I'm not supposed to say this on my channel, so I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to say the word. We know what I'm talking about. That everybody should be able to stay home, including the fast food workers and stuff. But you know that's not how it's going. So I'm not. I'm not going to con uh, attribute to that. I'm not going to contribute to that issue of people having to come to work when honestly we should. I'll just be going to the grocery store on an as needed basis and that's my opinion to keep people the option of being home like my husband is which I'm so grateful for honestly I didn't think they was gonna let him be home but they did I'm just grateful and I know that I have this problem with depression and I don't like go more than maybe I would say four or five days is my longest streak of not being depressed and I can honestly say that with him being home I haven't been depressed a single day since he's been home which doesn't mean that I'm not going to feel it at some point but I, I find that he is helping be a cure for my depression which is really cool for those of us that are at home or those of us who are now working from home and you need something to do make your home more comfortable to be in I've been working on making my home comfortable for a long time and I feel like the surroundings that the surroundings are very important in your home you want to make your home comfortable especially if you're in your home as much as I am all right you guys I'm going to show you the before of what my refrigerator and freezer looks like And this refrigerator is a complete mess. And as you can tell, we've ate out a lot. We've not been eating out since the quarantine has been going on. Just very little, if any. But this is over before this all happened, so don't judge us. <laughs> but yeah, here is, I mean, everything's just gotten wild and out, especially since we've been cooking at home a lot.
taking everything out of the fridge. Okay, I cleaned up my freezer and this is everything that came out of it. I have just put some of it on the floor. And here's what it looks like now. And I don't know what that is in there, but I'm going to go ahead and clean that out. I'm going to spray some of this Fantastic. It is so good at cleaning things. So I'm sure this will get this off. Let that soak for a minute. And I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I'm going to wet it a little bit. start with the top because it's not as bad so I'll give that a little extra time to soak See if this will get this up. And it is not doing the job, so I've got to find something else to work. I will probably have to have a sponge. Okay, so I'm going to use this and see if this will work. I sprayed a little more of the Fantastic Cleaner. doing the job so all that this came from the Dollar Tree for a dollar So here is the freezer and it's the finished result. I try to put everything together that I could. I try to put like the Hungry Man's all together. Um, it's hard to get that open up to see back there, but there's about four of those. And I try to put the Hot Pockets together, but I wasn't able to, so I put some over here. Okay, here is the finished result. I have these can organizers for my sodas and I'll link to them on Amazon for you all if y'all are interested in getting those. And I also got these off of Amazon and I've had them in my refrigerator for a while because I organized it last year um, and then it got back out of control as y'all could see. 
and then I also got these to put where I'm um, making food and then I have like some stuff left over to use again there's beans in here and there's um, some evaporated milk or whatever you call it for where we made some candy and cheesecakes and then I put my eggs in this container which I'll also link below where I got that but I have extra eggs because we're trying not to go to the grocery store as much during this time so we've stocked up a little bit every time I went to the grocery store I have gotten a carton of eggs just to be safe and then I took all my sauces out I have nothing to put there now so it's just empty and I put them in this container here because we do enjoy these sauces and here is my drawer I put all my shredded cheeses in line and by date and then we have these things of butter and here is my regular cheese and I love these Caesar salad kits now my husband had made me one of these and now I'm so addicted to these kits and then I also have some drinks in here extra so And then here's my hummingbird feed. We feed the hummingbirds every year. And we have some miniature cokes up here. Actually, this should probably go down here. So that looks better. And I have my monster energy drinks, which I've become addicted to ever since we've been quarantined. I drink one almost every day. And there you go. I hope y'all like it. And like I said, I'm going to link the products below. I bought all the organization items off of Amazon and I did buy them a while back and I still know how to link to those. And that way, if you want to use the same items for your refrigerator, then you can just click the links in the description box and that will take you directly to those items. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope everyone is doing well and I will see you all in the next one. And I'll also... For the people that like my organization and cleaning videos, I'm going to leave my playlist below that if you want to watch, uh, binge watch all of the organization and cleaning videos on my channel, then you can just click that link and it'll take you through all the videos. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.